Hi guys, it's Jessie gone. We are here at the Huntley Veterans Day event, the ceremony and the collection event. Um, let's see what's going on. All right, can you guys tell me your names and then what branch you guys served in? Patrick Conley, United States Navy. John Martinez, United States Marine Corps. All right, thank you guys for your service. And then can you guys just tell me a little bit about your experience serving for your country? Well, I was in the Navy in 61 to 64, served in the Atlantic Ocean. I can guarantee there were no Viet Cong in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. I served 1964 to 1970, mm -hmm. went to Vietnam mm -hmm. on Christmas afternoon. Mm -hmm. Marine Corps went in as a boy and came out as a man. You learned a lot and you learned discipline and respect for other people. What made you guys both want to serve? Why did I go in the military? Yeah. I wasn't going to go to college and the draft had just started. Oh. So you take a, go to where you went to the recruiters and you took a pick. Mm -hmm. The Army are going to be digging foxholes. The Marines are going to be marching and shooting. Mm -hmm. The Air Force wouldn't offer you anything. The Navy offered me a school. Yeah. So I took the school. As for me, mm -hmm. I quit my job. I had I had no girlfriend, no job. I was uh, my, my life was being wasted. Saw a poster of a, a Marine with his dress blues. And then mm -hmm. that's when I decided I'm going to join the Marine Corps. I just talked to two veterans. It was super cool being able to talk to them. They told me branches they served in and oh, the fire truck's going around. And just a little bit about themselves and it was honestly really cool. Now I'm just gonna go around and talk to some other people who are the, at the event. So let's go see that. My name's Barb Reed. And then can you just tell me a little bit about this event and then what you guys are doing? So this event is um, honoring our veterans collection event and mm -hmm. where we're collecting uh, basic food, non-perishable food and some uh, like winter coats, mm -hmm. mittens, gloves, anything for, sure. for the uh, transient veterans who live at New Horizons apartments for um, homeless okay. veterans. This is our fifth year. So even okay. during COVID, we okay. put masks on and build up stuff. What do you think makes this event so special? Oh, so I could go on for this for a while, but I won't. Um, it warms my heart that so many people come and do this. For sure. um, and there's so, and then most of the people who do this, which is kind of fun, it's young families, and it's a lot of veterans who are helping other veterans, like yeah. a lot of veterans helping other veterans. Do you have any vets in your family? Oh yeah, my dad, my uncle, my grandfather, yeah. my cousin. Yeah, we have we have lots of. Your dad, can you tell me a little bit about how he was in World War II. He's now passed, but um, he was in he was a Marine, and um, he was one of the front people that um, landed in Iwo Jima. Although he never liked to talk about it much, very proud of it. Oh, who am I here with? Hi, Chris Pachanos. So we brought uh, our group of boys and girls from Cop Scouts Pack 167 to celebrate the Veterans Day. I yeah. learned a little bit about it. Where did you serve? In 82nd Airborne Division. All right, and then what um, branch? In the Army. And what made you want to serve? Uh, adventure. Adventure? Yes. Yeah. Hi guys, it's the end of the event. I went around, talked to some vets, talked to some of the coordinators of the event. There was a lot of interesting people and I love that everyone was just able to come out and support the veterans, give some money, their time. I donated and I got a little bracelet. I'll show it here. And honestly, it was really cool. I learned, I learned a lot and honestly, if next year you have some time and you wanna come out to this event, I would really recommend it. It was really cool seeing all the different veterans and then just seeing all the people who wanted to come out and support. It's a really wholesome event. And well, today we rejoice and honor the service of America's veterans. We also remember the wise words of General Douglas MacArthur. The soldier, above all other people, prays for peace.